I'm going to make a classic meatball in a red sauce. You can have this on pasta, rice, or just on its own. And we're gonna do it in this wonderful stock pot from Gotham Steel. that has got the vented lid that goes on top of it as you can go do the rest of your jobs around the house while it cooks up a storm. Let me show you how we do this. Lean ground beef, as lean as you can buy from the grocery store. Pop that in, take some penko breadcrumbs. Those are gonna bind it. We'll put some of those in there. Tomato paste. We're gonna add some of that to the sauce and we're gonna add it to the meatballs. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna add a generous amount of salt. We're gonna add lots and lots of black pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic. I don't love the lazy garlic, but this is a real smooth one, so it kind of blends really well. You don't get little chunks, so it's a nice paste. I'm gonna whack the heat on. I am gonna put a little bit of olive oil because that's part of the sauce, and I want it to get some nice browning before we start to add the rest. And this is an absolute favorite. Clean up is a breeze, a beautiful pan that makes it so easy. And the non-stick is there, but also the heat element's gonna brown the food as we need it. So we're gonna get a little bit grubby, um, my hands are going to get dirty, I have to wash them in a minute, but you do want to use your hands to get this all really incorporated. We're going to pop that in there so that tomato paste really penetrates through. The garlic is mixed in, and this is going to be a nice big meal for however long. The one thing about meatballs is it's a really good dish to reheat. The flavour just gets better and better. You can add a little bit of herbs if you want. I did this once for an airline because that is reheated, it's cooked a long time ahead, and it tastes beautiful, it really does. As long as that sauce is right, this you can have days later, and it tastes just as good. So we're gonna make little meatballs, or big, whatever you choose actually. Let's go for medium on this one. I wanna get a little bit of color on there, so I'm gonna pop those in there. We should be able to get a good six large here. Make sure you can even use gloves if you want, the disposable. That's a good way to do it. Two more. And as they brown, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh, look at these. That's the color, beautiful. All sides with that color on there. And I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. We brown all sides, and then what we're going to do is cook it in that sauce. So make sure you just pull them all around so all those sides get coated. And they don't fall apart. That also helps that as well by searing it on the outside. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to make the sauce. I'm going to take some of this tomato paste, the rest of it. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. A nice amount of that garlic paste. Tomatoes, you could use a tomato sauce, you could use chopped tomatoes like I have, whatever you fancy. Let's give that a nice mix. And that's nice and thick, which is what we want, but we're gonna to need to loosen it up as well. Beautiful. Let's get some cracked pepper in there. Let's get some salt. Let's get a little bit of Fresh basil. Let's get some water to loosen that up. Let's pop it into our meatballs. Cover them, leave them for 10 minutes, 
And then what we'll do is we'll turn them. We'll come back and see how they're doing in a minute. That little steam valve there, you can see it all coming out, but not too much. So you don't lose too much moisture in the dish, but you won't have that rattle and shaking that you used to get without it. It's a great little feature that Gotham has put on there. Oh my goodness, look at those meatballs. They're gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna place a couple of them in here. We'll do three always looks good on a plate. Two. Let's get our third. Then, we're gonna get plenty of that sauce. Oh, just gorgeous. Just the olive oil, the garlic, the simplicity of it all. A little bit of that basil. Really, really top notch. A little bit stripped down the side. I wanna tidy that up. I wanna finish it off with a little bit of fresh basil on top, because you can never go wrong with that. And there is meatballs with lean ground beef. Oh, just delicious. When you want a real comfort food dinner, this is it. Throw it on some pasta if you want, but cook it in a Gotham steel to make your life nice and easy.